How's it going, everybody? I have another Vinyl Finds video here. Just a few pieces this time around. I'm going to slow down a little bit on the vinyl charges. Uh, I've got to save some cash here. Got a lot of things coming up, coming down the pipe here. Um, yeah, so I mentioned in my last video that I had some uh, things on order, actually from eBay. And um, most of which were, you know, I always look for those odd options, like I say, and, and at weird times. And um, I usually get, end up pretty pretty lucky on some of those. Um, I just got three pieces here, one of which I'm going to show you right away. Um, it's, a, it's a record I've been wanting for a while. Um, it's by Bob Dylan. It's called Desire. Um, that's a really old outer sleeve on it, but it's the record's absolutely, you know, in mint condition, so is the uh, jacket. I primarily wanted this album because of the song Sarah, and there's also uh, Hurricanes on here. I have Hurricane on 45, but it's both sides of the 45, so you have to flip it over in the middle of the song, but it's cool to actually have this on vinyl now. I mean, you know, this era Dylan, not the hugest fan of, but it's definitely worth, you know, listening to it. It's one of, I think it's one of his stronger albums from this period. Um, yeah. And then what I have playing down in the background, I just recently discovered this guy. I mean, I've heard of his name many, many times before, you know, in the past. But what this album is... Is uh, it's, I think it was recorded live, and uh, I you know honestly I really don't know anything about this album, but I love the way it sounds. Maybe you can hear some of the slower stuff happening downstairs right now on the turntable. This is uh, the small group recordings by Wes um, Montgomery, great jazz guitarist, which is also a groovy gatefold. Um, it is on it's a double LP. It's on the Verb label. Perhaps you can hear him starting to play guitar down there. Um, who's on this record? Uh, well, I'm not really going to go into, I guess, you know, I don't know who's on this record, but I, I noticed in between some of the songs, there's people clapping and, um, oh, here we go. Let's see here. We're listening to Side 2, uh, recorded uh, live at the Half Note, New York City. Uh, May, June, 1965. West Montgomery, Winton Kelly, piano. Paul Chambers, bass, and uh, Jimmy Cobb on drums. Um, side three. Okay, uh, which we haven't listened to yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure this is really exciting for you guys to be watching this right now. But uh, uh, so he recorded in New York City, September 22nd, 1965. West Montgomery, guitar. Winton Kelly, piano. Paul Chambers, bass, and Jimmy Cobb on drums. Okay, so. Uh, ooh, side four. Um, uh, James and Wes and Mellow Mood is recorded in uh, Inglewood Cliffs, New Jersey, September 20th, 1966, uh, with Wes Montgomery on guitar, Jimmy Smith on organ. Now, he's a badass organ player. Um, Ray uh, Barreto on percussion and uh, Grady Tate on drums. I'm going to go downstairs as soon as this uh, video is over and I'm going to flip it to side four because I love the way Jimmy Smith plays the organ. i got to get some Jimmy Smith on vinyl. I know uh, my buddy who collects records too, he doesn't make videos or anything like this, but he watches these videos. Uh, he has a, a few Jimmy Smith, he, you know, he's got a lot of jazz albums, you know, more so than I do. I, mean, I only have a few jazz albums, but definitely, as a guitar player, totally, totally, totally respect this guy. I mean, he's totally self-taught, um, no, no formal training at all whatsoever. I mean, and he figured all that out, you know what I mean? If I wanted to learn how to play guitar like that, I would have to... Uh, I don't know, like go to GIT or something like that, or I mean, conservatory of music. I don't know if they even bother with jazz there or not, but you know, hell. And this is another jazz piece that I have. Um, I'm really happy, really, really, really um, excited to have this record. Um, it's my first official Charles Mingus album. It's called Mingus at Antibes or Antibes. I don't know. I don't know if I'm saying that word right. Um, it's the Antibes uh, Jazz Festival, 1960. Holy shit, these guys on this record! I just I just spun it once, you know, one side, and these guys can play. Who's playing with them here? Let's try to figure this out. I know you jazz experts out there will uh, um, probably already know this album here. Let's see, we got Charles Mingus on bass, of course. Uh, Ted Person trumpet, uh, Eric Dolphy alto sax, and bass clarinet. Uh, Booker Irvin, tenor sax, uh, Danny Richman on drums. Um, yeah. It's a groovy gatefold. It just sounds awesome, too. This is this album's actually just completely mint condition.
It's on the Atlantic label. Um, it's got a Rockefeller Plaza address on it, so I'm assuming it's a later press. The vinyl's a little, 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 little light. But anyway, here's the back. I'm gonna read the entire inner gate fold here. That's what I love about records too. Man. You just, just open it when, you're, when the music's playing. Yeah, Eric Dolphy, Burker Urban. You know, you know a lot of these musicians I've never heard of, and I'm sure they're pretty much, you know, intertwined with other great jazz musicians of the era that I've listened to before. Um, been on a kind of a jazz kick here lately. Um, kinda, you know, like, you know, I mean, I, I was gonna love my pop and my rock and my, you know, indie rock and my alternative music, my punk rock, my Americana, my new grass, bluegrass old school country and I'm gonna love I mean I'm really starting to get into that mode of like really wanting to get into some really hard jazz, you know what I mean? And I see people on like the Facebook page posting, you know, about you know, showing their jazz records and things like that all the time. It's like, man, you know, because I'm starting to kinda yearn for a little bit more exciting and I don't want to say exciting, something that's a little bit more complex, you know, like jazz is. So anyway, that's just my brief vinyl finds. I hope everyone's doing well. Um Try to stay cool. It's hot in your part of the country. People have died in these conditions. That was corny too. Anyway, <laughs> I hope everyone's having a great day. And happy 4th of July coming up to all my uh, uh, fellow Americans that are watching this. Um, have a corn dog. Watch some fireworks. Happy birthday, America!